So once you finish wrapping, this is what it's going to look like. You just want to repeat the same wrap on every contact point. Now the only thing different is this contact point up here at the top of the handle. You can see I finished the wrap on the bottom instead of on the top. That's just so this doesn't get in the way. I want you to just make sure that when you're putting this all together, this is the back of the bow. It's going to be facing away from you, like this. And this is the belly of the bow. It's going to be facing toward you. You want the bars to all be on the same side and to be on the belly side because you're going to be, this is going to be pushing and you're going to have all of this force on this handle. And once you've done that, you take your tip and you just bring it till it overlaps. You want it to overlap to about two inches. And then what you do is you take your string from earlier, you basically want to go ahead and tie a knot. So you tie the knot at two inches, as you can see. And then you want to go and you want to give it a couple wraps just to really secure this. Okay, so now that you've wrapped it a few times, you want to do the same thing you did to finish the ends off. Just make a loop. Bring the end around. Just till you have good coverage. Then once that's nice and tight, you just pull this through. There you go. So now your first point is tied. Now you want to go ahead and do that to the other side. Okay, so now that you've got both ends tied up, you just want to go and make some preliminary adjustment. So as you can see, it's got a decent balance tiller right now. So you can see where the handle is in relation to my handle marks. So now we're going to cut our knocks. You can see I've marked down from this point an inch. You can see there's an inch there. So what you want to do is you want to just file in from the sides. So I'm just going to go do that. And it's really simple. You just want to follow those marks and file in. And you want to not only file into this outer piece, but you also want to kind of get into that inner piece too. But not much. That's about as far as you want to go. So just repeat it on the other side. All right, and there you go. So now I'm going to do this to the other side. Now I'm also going to go ahead and actually grind this down to the tip leaving this kind of flared a little bit. But I'm going to do this on the other side, clean this up, and I'll show you what that looks like. So, just so you can see, this is what I did. I went ahead and filed in, and then just finished up these sides. So it looks a little better. So now, I'm just going to be putting a temporary string on this, so same with the other bows we've done so far. I'm using 532nd uh, polypropylene rope, so I'm just tying a knot in the top here. Okay. And you just slip that over.
Bring that down to the other side. And you want to measure four, three or four inches. And then you want to tie your second knot. So here it is. All right. I'm just going to cut this. So here's the string, here's the bow, and I'm going to string this up. And even though it's really awkwardly shaped, I'm just doing the step through method. Here it is. So the brace height is a little low. So I'm just going to try a couple test pulls real quick. So it's looking pretty good so far. Making a little bit of noise, but I think that'll go away with time. I'm going to check the brace height again. Okay. I'm going to tie a knot in here just to up the brace height. Because this would be a perfect brace height if all of this was in here. So I'm just going to tie a little knot and bring it up. Okay, perfect. So you can see we've got good brace height right here. So here's the bow, all strung up and ready to go. As you can see, the string tracks right on the middle. Now what you want to do is you actually want to, once we start setting this up, is make sure that you can actually shift these now, just to make sure that everything is balanced. And once you get an arrow on here, you can adjust this to make sure that it sits straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an arrow on here and shoot this for you guys. And we'll see how it does. I'm not sure what it's going to do with the fletchings. Probably going to have to modify this rest a little bit. But we'll try it real quick and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 